Yo, what's up everybody? We have got a super special episode for you today. That's right, we're going to head to a bunch of legendary food stalls where celebrities have gone and local foodies have recommended. Hope you're not watching this on an empty stomach because we're about to have an array of amazing food on this episode. From Chinese sausage to chicken rice from the heavens. I'm even going to try durian and we'll be joined by a very special guest for that segment. Hi everyone, I'm Yanti, <laughs> my sister. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you for this episode today? Like 100. <laughs> Let's go get some delicious food! Let's go! For our first stop, we head over to Founder Bakute, which serves a temporary soup with pork bones. The cool thing about Founder's Bakute is, as soon as you come into this place, you are surrounded by photos of the owner and a whole bunch of celebrities. So I see Jay Chow, which is Yen's high school crush on the wall, and I also see a whole bunch of different HK stars. Can't wait for this Bakute. We're gonna see if we can try and get a photo with the owner as well. Right in front of us is the legendary dishes. We've got some bakute, found the specialty one. We've got a couple of pork intestines, some fried bread, and some pickled veggies. I'm gonna start right away with the soup. Now, Singaporean bakute has a very strong peppery flavor. Before I even tasted it, I could smell the pepper, and it just filled my nostrils full of that peppery scent. This is gonna be a good meal. The pork has a fantastic bite to it and it's been infused so much with that peppery broth flavor. It's just so super porky. And it's a little bit more softer here than you would find in most places, which is signs of a quality meat. So apparently this place is Jay Chow's favorite. He was a bit of a high school crush of mine, even got to meet him once before. What I've got today though is the lean meat pork soup. Let's try the soup out first. Really nice soup. It's very peppery as well and a bit salty, which I always enjoy. It's a very nice pork slice, very easy to bite. And the fact that it's so thin, that's enough for me. Now I'm going to try one of these intestines. The broth tastes a little bit different from the bakute one. It's got a nice hint of the cabbage, and so you get that veggie flavor and the pork intestine. No nasty flavors at all, just delicious. What you can do with the fried bread is dunk it into your bakute. This is our first meal of the day and we're off to a fantastic start. Because this is hitting me right here. As the Singaporeans would say, shook, shook. So are you two excited about eating some durian? I am yep. not. <laughs> I so love so durian. Loves it, love. <laughs> me, I can't stand the smell. I haven't eaten it in years. I love it. <laughs> I'll eat it every opportunity I get. <laughs> but this one too is recommended as a really good spot. Durian and we're going for the smelliest one that we can find. Combat Durian has been open for 50 years and is famous for its quality produce. Mao San Wang Durian is the most sought after species and you can tell by the star on the bottom of the fruit. Well we've got our durian. This durian here was $38. Why do you look so sad? <laughs> yeah Jay, describe what we're looking at over here. Oh you're looking at the nice succulent meat <laughs> of durian. At first I thought it wasn't so bad but that's because the durian was closed. <laughs> Look, there's a little one for you, Gabe. Yeah, Chen, you can take this little take, baby no, one. Go on, take that little baby one. This is a baby one? Oh, it's squishy. <laughs> <laughs> My hand's shaking. Oh, <laughs> one, wait, two. Wait, 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 hold on. So is there a seed, right? I shouldn't be. Yeah, you should. Hold <laughs> <laughs> on, the seed. Durian, cheers. <laughs> cheers. This facial expression. It's so weird. <laughs> it's so good. But it's really buttery. It is buttery and creamy. I'm so glad they give us free waters. Is it sweet or is it bitter or what? It's bitter, but that's the best part. Don't play with your food chain. <laughs> <laughs> Onions and sugar, I think that's like the best way for me to describe it. You know, it takes a couple of tries sometimes for you to actually like this. Jia was saying that she likes the bitter taste, but I was not expecting that. That's a super bitter flavor. Pretty delicious though. Mm. Finished our durians. Smell a bit like durian. <laughs> I think we need to get changed out of these clothes. 
Just parted with my sister, we're headed over to our next stop now, Maxwell Food Centre. One of the best things about Singapore is that to get to any of these legendary food stops, you can go by MRT, it's cheap and it gets you there very close with a little bit of walking distance. Tip number two, you can pick up your MRT card and your SIM card from any 7-Eleven store. But just remember for your SIM cards, you're going to need IDs, so bring your passport. Final tip, in Singaporean hawker centres, it's quite common to see a packet of tissues on the table. And that means that the seat is reserved. So we finally made it to Maxwell Food Centre. This place is a legendary food centre in itself. And here we have it. Tian Tian Hainanese Chicken Rice. This place has been opened up by Madame Fu Khoi Lian. It's been made famous by Anthony Bourdain, who's eaten here. And check out this line, guys. We had to wait in here. I'll show you. This is not just the line right over here. We've got a much longer line. It stretches right down over there. So for as long as that line was, it only took about 25 minutes before we got our food. They must have worked out their system perfectly because it was just boom, 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 moving. Can't wait to get into this. And I think what I'm going to do for this one is save the chicken rice for last because that's the one that Anthony Bourdain says it's so fragrant you can eat it by yourself. So let's start with the egg first. You got to pay extra for these little suckers. 80 cents. Not bad. It kind of tastes just like a hard boiled egg. Nothing out of the ordinary yet. But now as soon as I look at this chicken, I see something very special. It's got this lovely layer of jelly-like fat in between the skin and the meat. Now we're gonna put a little bit of chili sauce on there first. And what they do is, normally you get a little bit of black sauce as well to add onto the chicken, but they've already poured a whole bunch of black sauce on top. So let's try one of these pieces out. The chicken is very unique here. It's quite chewy and there's definitely a lot of texture in the chicken. It's a little bit salty and the addition of the chili definitely helps. But now, here we have it, the chicken rice. That's the stuff. Ooh, that chicken rice is fantastic. It's really nice and fragrant. Definitely a lot of chicken seasoning flavors have been added to that rice. And what I'm getting from it is a nice saltiness as well. We've had a lot of great chicken rice here in Singapore. And this is just another one added to that list. Amazing chicken rice, so fragrant, so much flavor. Tian Tian, good on ya. With that chicken rice in our bellies, right now we're looking for China Street Fritters. They have a delicious dish here, which is kind of like a Chinese sausage. Let's go see if we can find it now. It's another legendary food stop in the same hawker center. And what's cool about this place is they've actually won an award for making these little sausages the traditional way for over 70 years. I'm going to get in for the Nong Hyun. And what they've got is a special sweet sauce and a spicy sauce. And what you're meant to do is mix them both. So here's the sweet sauce. It's very gloopy. And now let's go in for some of the spicy sauce too. Let's give that a try. In New Zealand, we got this thing called a meat pie. Basically, it's a pastry filled with meat. And this reminds me of it instantly. The pastry outside of this thing it's really nice and crispy. And then the inside has that nice mincy texture. And it's very salty. And then once you mix it in with a little bit of sweet sauce and chili sauce, it's like the perfect combination. They've also got these Chinese sausages here. Imagine barbecue pork that's been chopped up into pretty decent sized pieces and then thrown together into a nice sausage shape. That's exactly what you taste there. It's a little bit sweet, nice texture. And you also get some mee hoon. That's a great side dish to go with all the sausages. This was two amazing meals. Definitely need to check this place out, especially if you want something a little bit different. Yum. We're at our final location. This is Beach Road Scissor Cut Curry Rice. It's something we've never tried before. Heard it's very unique, pretty messy, but should be an interesting experience. Let's go check it out. Like all the other places that we've gone to today, there's a long line to wait in. As I'm coming closer, I can hear the sound of the snips. They're really fast. They have a window where you can choose the food that you want. And what I've gone for is the fish paste, some chicken chop, and some bean sprouts. Another thing about this place is that it opens till 3.30 a.m. in the morning. Firstly, going in for that chicken chop, it's a really messy plate, but hopefully the flavors are amazing. Mm. Oh yeah, that's 
really good. It's salty and the spice doesn't hit you till a couple of seconds later. And the crispiness of that chicken. Cut into those little pieces just how I like it and bone this. That's great. Let's try a bit of that fish cake. get some bean sprouts in too. The curry is really nice. It's like a really sticky texture. So not watery or anything. Fish paste, nice and spongy. Bean sprouts, nice and crisp. That's a good dish. Oh man, that was one <laughs> awesome day of eating. It sure was and lots of fun too, especially being able to have my sister on the episode. Thanks there. Yep, it's been so cool being able to actually visit these legendary food stores in person because we've been watching them on TV for like many years. Yeah, and then getting to eat there too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that leaves us with one question. No. Okay. No. What was your favorite? <laughs> these are always the worst, most difficult questions to answer, but I knew you were going to say it, so founders back with there for me. Nice choice. Yeah. And for me, I thought I wouldn't have to choose a favorite chicken rice, but now. I'm gonna break that 10 10 chicken Ooh. rice so you guys took my number one spot. Thank Hello. you so much. <laughs> so, guys, you know what to do. If you wanna see more episodes from us, we'd really appreciate you giving us those thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> Likes and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave us a comment to say hi too. Catch you on the next episode. Catch you next time.